to do a quick review of the Wonder Cutter. The Wonder Cutter is an ultrasonic cutter that several light builders use to cut open lights. This is what comes in the box whenever you buy one. Sometimes. I say that because... I have two. This was my first one. And what came in the box with this was the Wonder Cutter and the charger. It had one blade on it already, but no extras. It was really easy to go on eBay and find replacements. So it wasn't that big of a deal. The second one I bought came with the same box of blades that I had bought online and this little replacement kit that comes with a little replacement screw and little replacement collar. So this is how you work the Wonder Cutter. Obviously you take this out, you turn on by holding this button. That's the charge level, we're fully charged. And then you hit that button on the little handle and it vibrates and heats up, I think. So to cut, you're obviously going to hit and hold the button and then cut right through the plastic. Now, that is my problem with these things. Did you, did you hear it? I'll do it again. I'm only able to cut, you can't even see it on camera. I'm only able to cut that far before it shuts itself off. It's got some sort of overheat sensor or overstress sensor, whatever you wanna call it. It's got some sort of sensor in there that will shut itself off when it sees something that it doesn't like. So then you obviously have to let go, hit the button again and keep cutting. But I'm not doing anything ridiculous. Like this is some super, super thin plastic. There we go, oh, nope. When it's brand new, it works great. The cut is amazing. It's super thin, cuts relatively quickly. It's slower than a Dremel, but the cut that you get is really thin and it's clean. A Dremel spits all kinds of plastic out everywhere, so it's obviously a lot messier and that really sucks if you're trying to build custom lights because you don't want that dust all inside the lens. By the way, that's a brand new blade screw and collar the first one i bought is actually in worse shape than the second one the second one shuts off after two to three seconds of use the first one won't even stay on to cut No matter what I do, it just shuts itself off. So you may be thinking that I've had these for years and years and I'm doing a lot of hard use on them. I bought the first one probably seven months ago and the second one I bought probably three months ago. So it's clearly just this specific product cannot handle cutting lights open. I have a theory it's due to permasealed lights. Having to cut through the permaseal and the lens at the same time. It's gotta be really difficult on that small tool. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to go with a different product. When it's brand new, it is amazing, but just, it doesn't last. It's not gonna last longer than a month or two. So I'm gonna have to give it like a four, three and a half, 3.75 out of 10. Number doesn't really matter. It's not great for what I'm doing. If you're working with something that's a lot lighter, maybe like cardboard or even thinner plastic than this, uh, then it should work out great for you, but uh, not for cutting open lights if you're trying to do it as a job, if you're trying to do it long term. A solid replacement that I want to test that I've been told by several people like uh, Evolution Auto Works is the Ecotech ZO412. Evolution Auto Works and CW Customs both told me that they've been using theirs for years, zero issues, which is amazing because I've been through two of these in seven months. Now I just need 400 more dollars and I can buy one. So let me know if you want a broken wonder cutter, give you a good deal.